welcome back to another brand new video it's your buddy asg here and today we're gonna play pokemon emerald horizons by brandon axel so the game is mostly similar to other emerald difficulty games but this game or this mld comp uses the referencing data from decompile developers such as rhh dizzy egg Pret. and the most best thing is it is also inspired by some harder difficulty games such as Pokemon Unbound, Pokemon Radical Red, and Pokemon Inclement Emerald, okay? So we're gonna talk about the features, including the explanation mode. So we're gonna go through the first point, which is the difficulty related. We can have set mode, level caps, and disabled back items. For the last point, which is disabled back item, you can't use any item during the battles or in trainer battle, okay? Most of the generation want to eat Pokemon are obtainable, including the Hisuian forms, best point. Uh, I've seen one of the Galarian mouth in the two in the game as well. So what is the third point? Modern battle engine, which is also thanks to the Emerald Decomp researchers. Then we got some Mega Evolution updated movesets, PSS. The updated movesets might be from the Generation 8 plus set, okay. Loads of optional boss battles, including 8 Kanto Gym Leaders and 8 Johto Gym Leaders, perfect matching, and add a few malicious bosses to who have valuable items, okay? There is also one of the best points in the game, which is EXP Share All. So most of the trainers who are busy in grinding for EXperience or EXP, they're gonna get some good relief, okay? Bosses or mid-late game trainers to scale or relative to your strength. Updated move animations, courtesy for Skelly and Gold Slash. It's Gold Slash. No EVs, no IVs, and nature factored into the stats. Very much good for the EV trainers. Okay. 75 new TMs, which is 50% from the Vanilla or Vanilla, and 50% are custom TMs. Gold Slash's Dex Nav, which includes 3 new topics, like 12 unique land encounters, 5 unique surf encounters, and 5 unique fishing encounters. PSF or it's PSF's quest menu including a new UI which has 30 new side quests to complete, Buffalo's Pokeville implementation, the Pokeville can heal your Pokemon or full Pokemon party at a time, Ghost item description headers, Bass or it's called badge based Pokemon mods, mm, black and white ripple system like always, Unlimited use for TMs and forgettable agents. Nicknaming and move relearning in party screen, also an attached function. The decapitalization at best. Level grinder to quickly hit the level cap. Linking card for most trade and related evolutions for betterment. Post game boss rush mode for the new experience. You got a 2.5x chances of getting la lucky egg, okay? So you don't get the EXP share at much good. Premier Ball bonuses from the Pokemon marks itself. No poison damage in the overworld. That was a really good list for the features. I've, I've, got, I've got to say that, okay? Only the thing it's missing is the story, okay? We're gonna not blame it. Everything is now just like an Emerald difficulty game every day. That is the same thing repeative, repeative again. Since we're done with the features explanation, check the description for more info on this one and make sure to subscribe the channel in case you don't want to miss any updates. Let's meet in another new video. For now, farewell guys.